times since I've done one of these. Hopefully I remember how. Hopefully audio is good. Hopefully video is good. Uh, today, we're gonna take a quick drive. Uh, GameStop, Just, or EB Games, I don't even know. Oh, I got host keys in me. Hold on now. Gonna need to bring these back. Ugh. Hello? Take this plate out the window. I gotta weld the diff in here. It's been in here now for about like two months now. And sometimes it'll be hard to hear it. Sometimes it'll be really noticeable. The biggest thing that I've realized is that as long as you're given a gas, you should be okay, right? It's not, you know, as soon as you let off gas or you disengage that gear, that's when it gives the tires that free motion and that's when they kind of, you know, start to make a lot of noise and chatter. So as long as you're kind of, you know, keeping it in that gear, applying gas, you should be good. I got my ABS light currently stuck on. I got my slip light currently stuck on and I've taken off traction control myself. So currently right now, it's a mess, man. Now remember, the welded diffs, they're not that scary, right? I mean, maybe a little bit when you're first starting out and you don't really know what to expect, but as long as you got a good understanding of what you're doing, you know, where your tires are, how much gas you're giving it, it shouldn't be an issue, right? I mean, it really shouldn't. Take this a little bit wider. Did they fix this hole? Oh, they fixed it. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and take a right right here. I just want to show you guys some tighter corners and show you that it's okay to drive a welded diff. I mean, obviously, my tires are pretty thick back here. I got thick boys. Woo. Uh, they're 275s back there, right? They're extremely wide. <laughs> excited for next year but I just want to get seat time and you know I feel bad that it took me this long to get to where I am today but at the same time it was a process right I mean certain things needed to go in motion first can you hear that when I get to about 80 or 90 at the moment now that kbd front bumper and that's what you're hearing at the front there's a nice little air pocket i think on those two front vents that are allowing it to just uh start flapping away where are we mcneely can i get on the main road we're gonna give it a shot partner so once again not bad left hand turn weld a dip and we're okay right um you know a lot of people i did a lot of looking into this before i actually decided to go with the welded diff and i did so off of uh z1 motorsports i believe it was and uh, it was a r200 open diff welded it's it's held up right i mean i did one skid pad event nothing crazy but the welded diff has actually held up uh, i was just praying you know the welds weren't going to snap i saw on some facebook group pages that people weren't really you know feeling those welded diffs that were you know kind of being sold so cheap but it worked out and we got ourselves a welded diff fairly cheap. Now, I don't exactly know the fine for no front plate, but I know it's probably what, like 35 bucks maybe, maybe more, maybe a hundred bucks. I haven't been pulled over too many times in my life. I think I've been pulled over twice. So even if I get pulled over, I feel like the cop's gonna give me a warning, hopefully, right? I mean, fingers crossed. But long story short, the welded diff, you're okay. Don't be an idiot on the road. Little Porsche? Whew. I don't know why I waved. I felt like I was in the club. I, I was like, you know, hey. It's that habit, man. I have a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Well, it's the wife's, right? We got it for last year. And, uh, you know, you do that Jeep wave. You're like, you see everybody that has a Jeep, you're like, hey, hey, right? You just get in that habit. You see a nice car, you're like, hey. Do you do that or is that just me, man? I feel like that's just me out there. I'll be like waving to just nice cars for no reason. Or probably looking at me like, I don't even know this guy, man. I mean, what's he doing? Oh yeah, you can hear it big time. It sounds almost like a flat tire. When you're listening to it, it sounds flat, but it's those two big air ducts that are at the front and they're just pouring in air. And there's a little chunk at the front bumper that's just flapping away right so 
I gotta get that taken care of for sure. I did end up getting uh, some of the Chemical Guys Wrap Detailer Spray. This thing was nice and it smells delicious by the way. Uh, picked this up off their website. They're doing a little Black Friday sale. Whole rear end of the car, we have solid aluminum bushings all around from Siki, including the differential, right? So the rear end's pretty solid. So I don't really have any issues. I got PBM rear toe arms. Uh, what else we got back there? I think I, I, I got another camber arm back there. So I'm definitely looking into upgrading the front end over the winter. I have my uh, front angle kit from PBM that I want to throw on there as well too. So big plans coming for the car. But what I've been told, if you're going with the PBM front angle kit, you need the long stroke coilovers. So I may have to upgrade the coilovers at some point in time. I'm currently recording this on my uh, GoPro Hero Session. Um, I just got this the other day. It was the Session 5, I think it was, a Hero 5 Session, whatever it is. I got it. Uh, I got a nice little kind of side mount clip for the helmet too. So I'm going to be buying a helmet very soon. If, if you guys don't know, I have a KVM front bumper on the car, which is a Nismo rep, I do believe. It's a polyurethane front bumper. So what that means is, is that it will allow uh, you know, the bumper to rebound and not crack and break in case it does, you know, have any impacts on it. So um, I really do like that aspect about the bumpers and that's kind of why I went with KBD, especially if I'm trying to get to the track a lot more next year. But um, yeah, it's definitely not fun. That was a cop right there. He got pulled over, big dually truck. Now the side skirts had a little bit of an issue and I haven't yet actually sent an email, but um, the one side on the skirt be this much shorter on the one side than they are on the other side. So a couple millimeters or so. A tighter corner right here, and just to show you how loud this actually is. You can kind of hear it a little bit, but like I said though, it's all about your gas and just keeping it nice and steady with it, right? I mean, that's all. All right, we're gonna take the hard way around here. Well, the diffs are fun. Oh, I should have just taken that spot we're right there. We're gonna go to the back, I think, right around here. The biggest thing is parking lots. You will want to park a little bit further away. So right there, you can hear that kind of clunking. That's because I let off the clutch as the car was turning in, all right? And that's when you get that kind of clunk, 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 right? Makes sense. All right, I'm off to get my PS1 Classic, man. Let's go. It is actually starting to snow. But you can see right down there. All right, that side's pretty good. And then this side right here, it's about a good, all right, you can see that it's quite short. Unfortunately, don't know why, but. Ooh. We have secured the package, over. All right, so a few things I ended up grabbing while I was gone. Uh, Clear 2.0, Sleeman, been loving that lately. And also GameStop. Uh, this came to about 130 bucks or something like that, plus tax. It was definitely a little bit expensive, but it'll so be worth it though. Uh, Sony PlayStation Classic, Cool Borders 2, Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy I never actually played growing up. Grand Theft Auto, the original one. Uh, we have Jumping Flash, Metal Gear Solid, I'm really excited for that. Ridge Racer Type 4. Resident Evil Director's Cut, we have Rayman, Siphon Filter, Tekken 3, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal's on here. Look how tiny it is. Oh my God. This is surreal seeing this thing this small. Oh, there you go. Look at that, man. That is super cool. Super tiny, right? Oh my God. HDMI input on this thing. Feels a little bit lighter and a little bit smaller, or unless it's just, it's been a long time, man. Do you guys remember this at all? Did you have one of these growing up? I'm gonna get home before the snow hits us because it is a coming right now. It is very close. There we go. This guy's gonna park right in front of me, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's backing in, he's backing in. Okay, good guy, good guy. You know what, I can do the same. All right, you can just hear it. good man we're good well the diff and all i just want to chuck it right here like i really would love to just hawk it make sure nobody's there all right you can hear it just just rattling man it does not sound good at all 
but it's the way of the road, bubs. Oh, that guy almost got hit. This guy going straight, or what are you doing, partner? So I don't know if you guys can hear it or see it with the chugging. Who's calling me right now? And Juku Racing's calling me. Hold on now. Yeah, go for it. I'm just sitting at a red light. I was, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so the wrong option was chosen for the seat rail. Okay. Um, you will need the FG, it's the same price. Um, I just wanted to verify, you know, if you were shipped out or anything. Um, you know, the right, the right stuff. I really appreciate that, man. Check the order, man. That is above and beyond. I mean, just going through the orders and making sure that the customer got the proper items to fit each thing, that's, that's, that's A plus right there, man. That's a huge thank you on them. But shout out to Ajuka Racing for uh, making sure that order went through properly. And, and Juka Racing again.